Hello, I'm Lisa Price. And I'm Dwayne Price. We graduated from UNBC in the early 80s. Hi, I'm Josh Michael. I'm currently a senior at UMBC. I'm studying political science and secondary education. Hi, my name is Joan Shin, and I am an alumna of UMBC. I'm Jim Milani. I first came to UMBC in the fall of 1969, and I never left. Hi, my name is Jack Seuss. This is my 33rd year here at UMBC. I came here as an 18-year-old, and I want to tell you about a few places that bring special memories to me. One of them is this pond area right here. This is where, down in the basement of the library, I came with friends to study. It was a great location because you could see the water, and you could see people walking by and just really enjoy um, what it was like to be at a university. Back in the early 70s, I played lacrosse here. I had never played lacrosse before in my life, but was given an opportunity to come out and uh, play for the team. Now, what you see behind me, this beautiful track, this turf field, the stands, the press box, we didn't have any of that. But you know what? It didn't matter. It was uh, being part of a, a team, being part of a, an opportunity to represent the university. Now, we are actually right now in the public policy building at UMBC. Oddly enough, this building did not even exist when we attended school here. This used to be a tennis court on which I used to beat Dwayne playing tennis. Uh, <laughs> I've spent a lot of time at the University Commons. Uh, it's a place where I buy breakfast in the morning. It's a place where I spend time with my friends at lunch, participate with my student organizations where we have our meetings had the inauguration rallies for student government that I work with. We watched uh, President Obama become the President of the United States. So it's a place we've had uh, a lot of community has come together around the University Commons. And right now we're sitting in the English Language Center, the ELC, and it's where I work right now. And lucky for me, I'm able to be working in a place that meant the most to me on campus while I was a student here. One of the things at the English Language Center that's special is that they not only work on helping people develop their English language skills, but they also try to celebrate all of the cultural diversity. And so there are always so many opportunities to celebrate um, the different holidays and the different special occasions that happen in other countries. For example, we always, every year in the fall, have a celebration for Ramadan and it's open not just to the Muslim students who are here at the English Language Center, but to the whole entire UMBC community. And it kind of pulls people together. Another place that's really special to me is one that very few people at UMBC got a chance to experience, and that's the underground tunnels that link all of the buildings here. We had to run cable from the third floor of the Social Sciences Building, or Sondheim as it's called now, over to the basement of the library. Physical plant said there was just no way that we were going to be able to run that cable in one piece and it was foolish to even try. We said we can do it, we know we can do it. We had three or four people pulling that cable for two days in order to get it into place but once it was in place we were able to run the computer center for a number of years based on that cable. Here's the data sticker that we put on the cables when we ran them in the early 80s. It's amazing to see these used. It's been 15 years since I've last had a chance to walk through the tunnels and it amazes me to think that we were still able to do this uh, 25 years ago. UMBC is special to me for a whole lot of reasons. Uh, you're actually looking at one of the best reasons. This is where I met my husband. Uh, we have a lot of common experiences, a lot of the same friends that have been with us since UMBC, so that's a great souvenir to have. When I first started, I was first generation college. Really didn't know a lot about what it was like to be at a university. Some days I felt a little lost here, so I took a, a self-appointed tour. I walked through just about every building on campus at the time. I looked in every room I could look in. I said hello to faculty. I found out that there were aquariums and science labs and it was things that just helped me to settle down a little bit and uh, make UMBC a little more personal to me. For me, what makes UMBC so special is that when students come here, they have the opportunity to really find ways of doing things that leave a mark and that allow 
them to grow personally and professionally? Two things. One of the things is if you don't have a camera right now, buy a camera because you're going to have lifelong memories here at UMBC. Number two, get involved. I would highly recommend that you get a, a job on campus. Again, not necessarily for the income, but just an opportunity to feel like you're contributing to the UMBC community. You'll find your corner on campus and you'll really love it, just like so many of us have. Um, so for me, that was getting involved in student government, my fraternity. There are so many other uh, opportunities that exist on campus. I think that it's really great that at UMBC it's small enough that you can really find your place and where you fit in, where you belong based on your interests, but it's also big enough that there are so many different opportunities, so many different events, so many places to see and people to meet that you never feel bored and you never feel like that there aren't new things to explore. And so for me, that really makes UMBC a unique place to be.